could use some serious holiday spirit. I was just gonna come find you. No, you weren't. You're avoiding me. Why would I be doing that? I don't know. Could it have something to do with you and Lulu? You and I are fine. Oh, okay? really? Is that why you're out on a date with someone else last night? What? Johnny saw you. With Dolores Padilla, my partner? Uh, what, were you researching a case out of Jake's? Yeah, Ma, a murder case. You know the one where you're a prime suspect? You didn't come home last night. Ah, oh, my son worries about me. I'm touched, John. I'm more worried about me than you. Where were you? Oh, will you look at this breath of fresh air? She's been finding her way here a lot. Mr. Zakar, I'm gonna need you to come with me. Well, shouldn't we be on a first-name basis by now? I mean, after your last visit, you did have me half-naked. So? Dolores? It's Officer Padilla. Now is when you say, John, I'm gonna need you to come with me. Actually, I was talking to your father. Look, Matt, maybe you think this is cool or mysterious, but it's just rude and it's getting old. So come back from wherever you are. Look, I can help you. I called in a favor. Jack was delighted to receive your call, and of course we'll do anything in his power. Just call me back, okay? I'm gonna make this. What did you find? Well, I, I found this delightful new Moroccan restaurant. Spinelli, I'm talking about Matt. Where is he? I've uh, not been able to ascertain his whereabouts. You found nothing? It's not for lack of trying. But where could he be, and why isn't he calling me back? Well, it's possible he's physically unable to respond, but more likely he's just too self-absorbed to... What do you mean, understand? unable? Do you think he's in trouble? Ms. Jones! Yeah. Did you find Matt? Is he hurt? I didn't come here about Dr. Hunter. This is about you and the murder of Lisa Niles. <laughs> Very big day for us girls. After a pick up Emma from school, we're gonna go to lunch and then get her nails done. Oh, and then I was thinking it's time to stop by the toy store to see what she wants for Christmas because, you know, we don't know. She might still be obsessed with baby dolls. <laughs> or maybe she will revert back to all things princess like she did last year. Hopefully not. Personally, I wish she was into trains. That would be cool. Why did you put me on the afternoon rotation when I... It wasn't you. It was Monica. So. It's okay. Actually, Lisa continued to screw with us from the grave. Matt. Hey. Hey, that's, that's all you have? Where the hell you been? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. But first, we're going to revisit a murder. I checked the schedule. You're all free for the next few hours. Free to do what? I think you'll all fit in my car. It's a short ride. What if I said I didn't want to go with you? I'd advise against that. What if I did? You'd be coming with me in handcuffs. I think it's better you just go along with this one. Yeah, that's good advice. In fact, you know, I was within two hours of putting out an APB on you. Yeah, well, I'm here now. Right, Mac? I don't understand. We've already answered every question you have about that night. There's still a murder to be solved. Unless one of you want to confess right now. Save us the trouble. Look, Mac, we're all, uh, we're pretty busy around here. I think you'd want to be anxious to clear your name. Well, we are. I mean, of course we are. Good. Fine. Right. Then I'll get the car. All right. Well, I have to call the babysitter make sure she can you pick can up... You can do it on the way, Robin. It's just easier if I meet you at the station. We're not going to the station. I'm not one who usually turns down an invitation from a beautiful woman. It's but... not an invitation. Well, I don't see any warrants. Why were you let go with a... But you're not me, John. And I like the idea of knowing where I'm going. We're just going to take a little ride. Will you at least buy me lunch? <laughs> Make sure his hands are seen at all times. I'll remember that. You two have fun. Actually, why don't you join us for the ride? Oh, it's not my style to intrude. Oh, come on, Johnny. It wouldn't be a party without you. <laughs> what kind of party are you talking? I don't like to spoil the surprise. I don't know anything about Lisa's murder. I wasn't even on the boat when it happened. Yeah, it makes me see. You don't need to say anything else without your lawyer. <laughs> Why would I need a lawyer? This Jersey Shore reject to comes Jersey. into my place okay. of business. It, it might when be a good time to exercise your right agree. to remain silent. Why? She's doing great. You know, it appears you're being unnecessarily confrontational. Oh, am I? Yes, and if you continue in this matter, you might be facing a harassment complaint. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go to the car. The car? Yeah, we got a trip to take. Don't worry, Max. Mesa, the jackal should be at your side at all times. Oh, no, you bet your ass you will. I got orders to round you up, too. 
Mm. Well, Spinelli had nothing to do with this. Yeah, yeah, no, she's correct. I know nothing about the murder of Dr. Oh, right, good. So then it should go smooth then. Hey, you guys ever ridden in the back of a police car? Lord, look at this mess. Mm -hmm. I don't find no. anything in here. I, I, I got a system. Yeah, some system. No wonder you haven't figured out who killed Lisa Miles. We're working on it. So you got some ideas? Yeah, we got lots of ideas. Yeah, well, it must be kind of difficult since everyone in town needed a bus. Oh, you... I know, I know, I know. You can't talk to me about it on the prime suspect. Yada, 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 yada. I don't yada, think whatever. you did, but you were on the boat. Yeah, well, fortunately for you, I'm not here to talk about a murder case. I'm here as your mother to talk about the fact that I think you're potentially really screwing up your life. What? Well, I'm not even doing anything. Exactly. You're not doing anything. You got a great girl who you're crazy about. You're going to no, marry her. Stop. Well, I don't want to talk about me. Okay, maybe you're not going to talk about you. You're going to listen no, no, to no, me. No, 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 no. You have to listen to me, okay? You might be here as my mother, but you're still a suspect. And now you got to come with me. Where are we going? Sam, you could have you walked. Why are we here? Looks like the police ran out of ideas. I can't believe Dante would do this to his own mother. When Dante's doing his job, he doesn't think about his personal life. Unlike the rest of you, I wasn't even on this boat when Lisa was killed. And your hands are always clean, right? No violence in your past. You'd think you'd learned a little humility by now, Doc. Oh, you are right, Max Mister. Jackal's confident he can solve this mystery and get you out of here. I'm sure he'll try. Do you have any idea how worried I've been? Sorry. Hello? Can we get the show on the road? Have a seat, everyone. You all remember First Officer Briggs? Please have a seat. Thank you all for coming. Uh, like we had a choice? This boat is the scene of a crime. The place where Lisa Niles was murdered. I've taken care of everything. Everyone who was uh, on the boat that night is in this room, with the exception of Elizabeth Weber, who had already been thrown overboard by the time the murder happened, and Captain McCloud, who Lisa Niles killed. Excuse me. Officer Who's Padilla. Who's you can interrupt? I just thought you might show some compassion and offer that poor woman a tissue. I'm fine. Thank you. Not to sound insensitive, but this really has nothing to do with me. I wasn't on this boat. You were seen piloting another boat. You just decide to tell everybody that now, Johnny? Hey, you, your pop was spotted on the dock from where the boat launched. It's a crime to take a walk by the water? Spinelli was also on a boat nearby that night. So now you all know why you're here. Someone on this boat killed Lisa Niles. With this. Hello. Our divers got lucky. Although the killer wasn't very creative in get, trying to get rid of it, it was found at the bottom, right where the boat had been anchored. Yeah, is the cars on the water? That's right, on the boat. Oh. Look, as you all know, we look for three elements of a crime. Ooh, uh, uh, motive means enough. Put your hand out, Spinelli. That's right. The wrench was the means. Forensics made a positive match with the blow that killed Lisa. The murder weapon was in a toolbox readily available to anyone on the boat. So the opportunity could have presented itself to any one of you, including those of you trolling the waters. So that leaves motive. You all had reason why Lisa and I was gone. Oh, really, Detective? Thank you for that revelation. Don't we'll mention it. Robin, this is the, uh, the watch you wore the night of the murder, right? Yeah, it was broken in the str struggle with Lisa. And what does that have to do with anything? The hands were frozen at 9.49, which gives us a bit of an indication of when Lisa was killed. And as per the statements, Robin was the last person to see Lisa alive. Actually, Detective, you have that wrong.